All right, hello YouTube. I'm tired. It's 11 o'clock. This is going to be the last video of the day. So we're rounding out the Dress Watch Trilogy here with this Hamilton. This is a historic watch brand, just like Timex. It has its own story to history, which I will not be getting into this video because we'd be here all day. But you see it's the 14th on Monday. It means it's Valentine's Day. Um, anyway... This one's quartz, where the other two were mechanical. And I like that, because this is a vintage watch that I bought. And it's working great. I put a battery in it maybe two years ago, and it's working very nice. 2020, I think I got it. And it's been a great watch. It works great. It's very accurate. I have to reset it every couple months or so, and it's not bad. And on the back, it has its own history, besides me owning it. it. says here, Lowell H. Palmer, 1985, 30 years service at AT&T. Good job, Lowell Palmer. Love that for you. And we got here on an Urs a Hirsch Osiris strap. And his mineral crystal. It has a beautiful dial there, kind of, kind of concentric ring around it, and then a sunburst dial in the middle. This watch is small, it's about 33 millimeters, but it's still very pretty. I don't know about y'all, but I want to pop off that back and see that gorgeous, gorgeous movement. It's a quartz movement, so it's a little bit different than the other ones, but we'll see here. And here's the movement. It's a very pretty Hamilton Hamilton branded quartz movement and I th I just wanted to mention if you look at the case back here if you see those numbers those are hand engraved numbers it means that this watch has been serviced at some point which is probably why it works so well today um, but looking at this movement it's much different looking much more electronic looking it's because this watch is powered by a battery whereas for the other two we're powered by and winding a spring that would basically uh, power the watch. This is very different, very old, but still very cool. They said I put a battery in here about two years ago. It's very neat. You can kind of see right there. And I just realized I'm holding the phone vertically. Love that for me. Um, let's take a look. Very cool. Just to give you an idea, this is zoomed way out. I mean, this is my hand. This is the watch. This is, it's not big. Let's look here. That's the quartz oscillator. Is that big bar right there? You got the battery, which is that circle. You got the circuits here. It's a capacitor. And just all kinds of quartz stuff. And you can actually adjust this movement. It's adjustable, which is very cool. Um, I don't know. It's just really neat. That's all I have to show, really. And we'll get it on my wrist. And we'll end the video. Very 80s. Very, very 80s. We got this watch on now. Base metal gold. We gotta love it on this gloss black hair strap. It's the smallest watch I own at 33 millimeters, and it shows it. It looks small. I don't I really like it though. I still like it. Things still think it's very cute. I like it very much. I like how the date's still very readable because the movement is quite large in there. It's the same size as the dial. And that's about it. There one thing I should mention is that this did come on its original strap. It's just a gold strap. It's quite worn it doesn't actually fit my wrist which is why I don't put it on it was why I don't leave it on I can barely squeeze it on there but it's just a stainless steel band nothing special it reminds me a lot of those the new Timex bands on the Q Timexes very similar just with a gold finish Yep, but that's the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.